Eight-year-old Layla Gray started the fourth grade today at Pershing Elementary, weeks after she should have, but it almost didn't happen. When the new school year started, she returned to the same third grade classroom she was in last year, while her twin brother went on to the fourth grade. The decision to hold her back came as a shock to her mother, Allie. When she found out that she had to take the third grade again, she, I mean, was crying bad. She was devastated. This was Layla's report card from the fourth quarter of third grade. All A's and one C in reading. She was being held back because of this FCAT score. She got a 181, one point shy of the 182 she needed. It didn't sit well with me, and I felt like this is probably the, uh, a good example of when high stakes tests have gone too far. Florida law says third graders who score at level one in reading on the FCAT must be retained. Orange County School Board member Rick Roach says there are thousands of kids across the state like Layla being held back only by the test. Uh, something is terribly wrong with a system that allows that to happen. That's why Roach reached out to State Senator Darren Soto. Talking about a couple points, mm -hmm. we really need to give these folks the opportunity to advance. Senator Soto is trying to amend the law, so passage is not all dependent on this one score. Having accountability is important, but we do need some flexibility so that we're truly leaving behind uh, the kids in third grade that need another year while advancing the kids who deserve to move on. In the first few weeks of school, Layla had a tutor helping her with her test taking skills. She had the opportunity to take a benchmark last week, which would determine whether she could go on to the fourth grade. And Layla beat the test, needing a 33 to move on. She scored a 63, moving her into the fourth grade albeit a month later than her classmates. Plenty of other kids out there just like Layla, you know, that do really well in school. They're just, I guess, bad test takers. It's not fair. It is not fair at all. In Orlando, Caroline Rowland, Bay News 9.